so we're starting an intro, we're sat outside. Um, not quite well, the apartment's literally just a few blocks away. Yeah. I'm, I don't know what that <laughs> Um But yeah, we're just sat at the front, so nice here. Yeah. We've got the iHeart Catalonia sign right nice there. Sign. And this is where some of the fishing cruises and things happen in the morning uh, with trips yeah. out. So, and then usually in the evening there's loads of nice big sailing boats and like yachts and stuff. So, yeah, it's really pretty, isn't really it? Cool. Um, so we're just gonna go and find somewhere to have breakfast. And we're gonna have this out, have it out today, and then probably, where are we going? Uh, well, we're gonna go to the end of the town of Argosoli because there's a couple of sites there. There's a lighthouse, there's a thing called the famous sinkholes of Argosoli as well. So we're wondering what, what on earth that could be. Um, and then we're gonna drive towards the little town of Scala and just have a little explore. Yeah, so we shall take you with us and hope you enjoy watching this one. And the, the weather is so nice today. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's it been nice be. every day, but it's seems extra mm. extra nice but yeah so we're gonna enjoy this view for a minute and then go find something to eat catch, catch you in a bit. I just thought we'd give you a bit of a reference there's the sign for the Catalonia and then this orange building here is the um, suite apartment so it's literally over the road and you've yeah. got all this really nice walkway it looks really good at night time as well so we'll show you that at some point just to say, you have to forgive the um, noise. It's a tractor over there. Oh yeah, digger. there's a digger or something doing something. But and if in the morning where the fishing boats are on this area, if you come really early, so usually you see some sea turtles. Yeah, they follow the fishermen, don't they? Yeah, so that's really cool. We, we saw them last time, but did, did we have to get up at like half six or something? No, uh, I swear it was. I think Ollie's lying. Um. But yeah, so there's just loads of cool big boats and it just looks really good at it. So yeah, just wanted to tell you that the apartment was literally up there and it's obviously there's loads of places that you can go looking down this main next So we've just sat down um, at this place called Compass Cocktail Bar and it's just right on the front. So it's literally only a few doors away from our um, hotel apartment. And we've got, I've got this like smoothie type thing which looks really good and Ollie's got coffee so yeah we're just gonna and we've ordered some pancakes and waffles so we're gonna show you those when they come out but we're just gonna enjoy these for now hey food's come looks really nice so this is kieran's waffle it looks incredible and this is my pancake stack which is look how thick they are oh my days so we're gonna now demolish this and uh, then pass out i think into a food coma but um, the good thing is, to be fair, we'll have this and then we probably won't want lunch. I mean, to be fair, it's more or less lunchtime, yeah. isn't it? So then we'll probably just have uh, dinner tonight. Yeah. Gold cutlery. Oh, yeah, gold cutlery. There you go. Funky. Only the best for honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just in the car now. We're on the way to the little lighthouse thing to go and check it out. And um, breakfast, well, was really nice. However, we both were defeated massively, weren't we? Yep. So. Literally feel like I'm going to die. So I feel very, very full now, um, all the carbs. So yeah, we're just on their way now and um, we've just passed this two ship, some a few nice yachts, so oh, the dream, hey? Hard to have a nice yacht. Um, but yeah, we're on our way now, so we'll let you know when we get there. arrived at this little um, sinkhole of Argostoli. Um, we're not really sure what it is, but you've got a little walkway out and it's, oh, there's the ferry from Lake Zori. Absolutely gorgeous scenery. And the water's like so crystal clear, which is something that we love about Greece. You've also got this weird water wheel, <laughs> which I don't think serves any other purpose apart from being decorative. Um, but uh, yeah, it just looks really nice. There's Kieran. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's just a little, little walkway. Um, and one thing we didn't know, we've never actually driven up this side, but it looks like over there is a bit of a beach, um, which looks really nice. Um, loads of people in the water swimming as well, so I'm assuming it's really nice over there. 
Um, and then we're going to go to the lighthouse, which is just on that point over there in just a minute. But we thought we'd stop here and just have a quick look. So yeah. So we've just gone to the lighthouse from where we parked, and it's literally a two minute walk. So here we are, got the beautiful scenery and there's a little lighthouse at the end. It's really nice. We were just saying it looked a little bit wavy this side, so we're glad that we didn't rent the boat from here. Because it maybe have been a bit choppy on the water. There's a van coming now. Yeah, no, it's really nice. It's a nice thing to come and have a look at. It's obviously got a load of graffiti on it, because why wouldn't it? But it's quite cool as well. Oh yeah, and that, uh, you probably can't tell, but we were just literally there. That's where the sinkholes of Argus Dolly was. Um, so yeah, just a nice little viewpoint and vantage point to come and have a look at. And over there, that is um, where Lake Zori is. So that's where you take the ferry to from Argus Dolly or the ferry back from Lake Zori to Argus Dolly. So you cross over this water here. So let's have a look at what's inside here and look at the viewpoint from the other side as well. Made it to Scala. Took about an hour. What, 50 minutes? Was it? About 50 minutes. Yeah, it was alright. Um, the drive, all right, drive. drive was alright. Pretty. Um, so apart from the final 10 minutes, it got really like bendy, and the roads got a bit rubbish. Um, but we hit the parking's a little bit rubbish here because um, there's uh, quite a lot of one-way one -way streets. streets and stuff. So we managed to park in this little. Well, it says car park, but it's not really a car park. Um, so yeah, so we're here, we're just um, going to have a little walk to the town bit and see what's what. So we're just on the little street, we've just got some shops and stuff on it, and um, so I'll just show you. Really sweet though. And then you can see the sea down there, I'm assuming there's a beach nearby. And it goes all, it goes up there as well. So we're assuming this is like one of the main little areas, but obviously we've never been so we're not sure. Bakery, yummy. So I think we're going to find somewhere just to have a sit down and have a drink here. Yeah? yeah, sounds good. There's obviously loads of little restaurants and taverners and things everywhere. Hey, so we've just had we've sat down for a little while, had a nice tea and a drink and a bit of a rest, and we've just walked to the end of the street that's um, just here, and obviously see the beach. It looks like quite a nice beach to be honest. A bit more sandy. It's a good good little view. So we're just gonna have a little wander around. Yeah. Hey, so we just um come we had a little walk, didn't we? We do just a guy not be on camera because I'm not feeling quite that's fine. Hey, so we um, had a little walk down one of the streets, sort of the hotels, um, and then we've just come and sat down on the beach. So we're in this little nice little area. Um, and then there's this is the view. So we're probably just gonna we're just gonna chill for a little while, and then oh, can we we'll just head back to Argus Dolly? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So we're just gonna relax. Nice beach. Ollie's had a little dip, so it was quite nice. It's not as not as many big rocks as some of the other beaches that we've been to, but yeah, it looks lovely. And he's just relaxing under the sun for a little bit. Just love the clear waters. So 
we've um, spent a bit of time on the beach, which was really nice, had a lie down, quite relaxing actually. Yeah, really quiet, wasn't it? Yeah, really quiet considering it might be a bit busier in the um, higher season, but yeah. We're just walking back to the car. I've got this like cheese bread thing that I wanted to just try. Um, and then you've just got a little carbonated orange juice thing. So. Yeah. Actually, um, I did something zesty. We're going to head back to Augustoli, um, which will take about 50 minutes. So. Yeah, and then we're probably going to think of a plan of where to go for tea and maybe a few drinks afterwards as well so we'll take you along with us but yeah we had a really nice few hours it's on the beach but yeah it's quite a quite little town hours. isn't it um, i can tell you can tell it's a little bit more touristy but it's not tacky touristy yeah at all um and the, the like i said the beach was super quiet there was quite a few people on there but everybody was just really chilling out so it was really nice um and the the actual beach was nice, it was just really small pebbles um, too, so yeah. I'm going to try this, going to get going and then we will catch up with you in a little, yeah, we'll a little bit. We'll go get in the oven. Oh god yeah, here's our little oven. I could probably re rebake this cheese yeah. in there. Put it in the windscreen. So here's our little car, so let's get back to August Dolly. So we're just driving back now and you can see this island here, this is in Zakynthos Santi where we went in September and um, you've got it's a really good view of it though obviously you probably won't pick it up on camera very well but oh no you've just got Ollie's head basically um, but yeah I just wanted to point it out well it's cool that you can go on there you can do day trips can't you yeah do day trips um, well, yeah. you do day trips and things so it's pretty cool um, so yeah just want to show you that quickly while we're driving back <laughs> oh, hey everyone so we're just um, leaving the apartment now. Uh, we've just been chilling for a little while, watching a bit of TV, and we're just well, we're having a look for something to eat. So we're going to the pharmacy for the rest of the aren't we? Yeah. So I've got a bit of an upset stomach. Yeah, and we've run out of some ibuprofen and just like to have some just in case. In general, so we've been looking for somewhere to eat. Um, Ollie saw this place it should hopefully be quite good. Um, it's got good review, so we're going to head there and hopefully have a nice meal as well once we've found the pharmacy. But we're just leaving the uh, place now. So, so now you literally just walk out and then you're at the palm trees on the front, the water, the boats. So yeah, we've just been chilling, enjoying a bit of relaxed time. Obviously, it's been a busy day, really, but even though we didn't go until late. Yeah. So yeah, we will let you know when we find some find the place that we're going to eat to, and hopefully be juicy <laughs> so we've just come to the restaurant uh, it's called uh, Anpalaki or that's probably not how you pronounce it so apologies for that we'll roll with it. Um, but the menu is really nice and it's got loads of really good reviews on Google so um, we'll show you what we're gonna get but I think I'm going for a salad um, and then we're going to get for appetizers, we're going to get some fries and basically some bruschetta. Yeah. And then, Kieran, do you know what you're getting? I think I'm going to have vegan moussaka. Vegan moussaka? So I'm going to just, I can, I'll show a little bit of the menu quickly. You will have to pause if you want to read it properly, but they've got quite a few vegan things. Mm. Oh. <laughs> drinks have just come as well. Yeah, so it went a bit quiet there because the lady was just there. Um, so that's basically the menu. So I've got a draft beer, as always, and then Kieran's got half a litre of um, house rosé. Um, and the reason for half a litre is that a large glass, which is 250 millilitres, so half of it, is four euros, and half a litre is five euros. So it's like, well, for an extra euro, it's like, it's like when you're in a, a chain or pub in England. Do you want to double up for a pound? Yeah. Yes, I do. You may as well just drink it from the jug. <laughs> so we'll let you know when it comes and we've not ordered yet, so we'll let you know what it's like when it comes out. 
our little starter's come. It looks really nice and it smells really good as well. Yeah, it's called uh, Riganata, which is baked bread with grated tomato, feta cheese, oregano and olive oil. So this looks really good. So our mains just come. This is my salad, which looks really nice and really fresh. This is Kieran's vegan moussaka, which looks really good as well. And these are the homemade fries we've got. So we're going to dig in, and what we'll do is, as always, we'll do a review after the meal. Hey everyone, so hey. we're back at the room now. Um, after dinner, we went for just two drinks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two drinks, that's it. And then we've come back home and we're re-watching uh, Stranger Things before the second volume comes out, which may seem really boring, but we absolutely love it. Um, a review of dinner from Ampalaki. It was amazing. Really, really nice. Really good. Um, the bruschetta or the, um, what was it called? Ragiadini or something like that. I can't remember. It, whatever it was called was amazing. It tasted so fresh. Um, the tomatoes, I swear, like, I, I don't actually like not, uh, tomatoes normally in the UK, but when we're in Europe, I can eat them just like on their own because they just taste so sweet and so much nicer. Yeah, they're really um, nice, wasn't it? Mm, and the feta as well, like compar in comparison to what we usually get from Tesco, it's just like not even, it's not even on the same planet, is it? No, not, not, no, it's just not. And then you had the vegan moussaka. Yeah, that was really, really nice. You could tell it was definitely homemade. Yeah. Um have really nice layers of potato, mm. aubergine, courgette, tomatoes, like sauce. It was really, really nice. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't complain at all. No. And then I had the, uh, I, ju I just had a salad, um, but it was so fresh. There was loads of um, chicken and loads of halloumi on it. The dressing was really nice. And you had croutons on it and everything. Yeah, croutons on it. And it was just really nice. So even though it was a salad, which I feel like a salad you can mess up. Like you were saying that, like sometimes yeah. a salad can be really boring, but it, it wasn't at all. That It was really fresh and really tasty and a lot of flavour. Um, so we had that. And the homemade chips. They oh, were yeah. really nice as well. They were incredible, weren't they? Like you could tell again, like just the way they're cut and the way they look when they're cooked. They were homemade. Um, and then we walked back. We went to a little bar that we went to last time we came here, didn't we? And it was happy hour, so it was only six euros a cocktail. So we didn't even know. <laughs> no, didn't even know, so it was only 10 euros for a cocktail and a beer. So we stayed there and then we oh. pay, paid for it and then we walked off and we were like, hang on a minute, we're going to another place, but it was only 10 euros for two drinks there, let's go back there. So we turned around and the waitress was like, back again? Um, we're like, yes, yes. Cheapskates back. Cheapskates, yeah. Uh, so went there and then, then we just came home and uh, Kieran decided to get a Bacardi Breezer to bring back with him, which... Um... Yeah, from one of the little stalls, <laughs> out the little kiosk things on the streets. Yeah, you decided to be a 14-year-old again, didn't you? Yeah, uh, with it's a Bacardi Breezer. Euros, so I thought it was pretty decent. Yeah, and to be fair, you've enjoyed it, haven't you? It's all right. <clears throat> Lemon Bacardi Breezer, which I've never seen their lemon one before. It was always orange. Orange was the staple, wasn't it, when you was younger? Orange Bacardi Breezer. Clearly you'd know. Yeah, well, there you go. And then I had some Mythos left over. <laughs> I had some Mythos left over from when we did the boat trip, so I just had a, I've just had a couple of them. Um, but we're going to end the vlog here. Um, overall, been a really good day. Been a really chill day again. Obviously gotten to explore a bit more of the island. Been to the lighthouse this morning. The sinkhole, whatever that is. Went to Scala. The nicest meal probably so far. The nicest meal of the holiday so far. And then just chilling. So, anyway, well, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I think we're going to Fiscardo, which is apparently where, if celebrities come to Kefalonia, that's where they go to. Not that we'll see any. No, no. We we've have been, been before. We've been before, haven't we? And it is really pretty right at the top. Um, so we're going to Fis Fiscardo tomorrow. And that's it. That's the yeah. only plan, isn't it? But yeah. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Night. Bye.